Antonescu with Massage and Movement. I'm going to walk you through an oblique release. Sometimes when the obliques take over, we find things like diastasis recti when the linea alba is widened. We may find breathing patterns are different. Maybe we're, when we cough, <coughs> our abdomen comes out or out and down or just down. So this can be handy to help relieve diastasis recti and to help facilitate breathing patterns. I am in a psoas release right now. You don't have to be in one in order to do this, but I find it helpful. And if you are not familiar with the psoas release, you can check out my psoas release video. So to do this, my hand is going to come up onto my ribs. And the idea here is it's biofeedback. It's, I'm going to feel when my ribs start to come up and I'm going to try to anchor them down. My other hand is gonna come across and sink into the side of my body. And the trick here is don't just grab, but instead sink. It makes a huge difference. If you just grab, you're only gonna get the top layer. It's gonna be very pinchy on the skin, but if you allow yourself to relax and sink, you'll get deeper layers. So once I'm sunk in, this hand is anchoring my ribs. I'm going to allow my knees to bend. And here this twist is happening. And again, I'm trying to keep these ribs down. And I only bring my knees across as far as I can without these ribs coming up. What I can do is once I find where my ribs come up is I can use a block or a cloth to bolster to that, to that um, height and then come back and bring the twist here. So with this twist happening, we may feel a release or we may not and that's okay. Hold it, I don't know, like 10 breaths or so. You can hold it longer if you'd like. Try not to have a lot of tension in your shoulders, but instead relax into this stretch. And then when you're ready, release and do the other side. Enjoy!